Teachable Moments with April. I hope everybody is having a great week and you are doing well and you're staying healthy. Um, Today we're going to go a little bit further into what I talked about in my last episode, which is uh, uh, countrywide uh, recognition of DSPs for this week. It started on Sunday, September 12th, and it will go all the way into the 18th. Um, we're going to be looking at a particular organization called, its acronym is ANCOR, and it stands for American Network of Community Options and Resources. And I encourage you um, highly to check out their website. And it's just ANCOR, A-N-C-O-R dot org, okay? They have some very great uh, programs and resources on there that you really, anyone and everyone could benefit from. Now, the first thing that I looked at uh, for ANCOR is um, a sample of social media messages for DSP Recognition Week. And they gave like uh, a little, script of sorts of what what you could say on Twitter as well as Facebook and underneath their um, their name it says shaping policy sharing solutions and strengthening the community so I'm going to just briefly share um, a sample one from Twitter and a sample one from Facebook of how you could mention it um, you know and show your support of support of, of direct support professionals DSPs for Twitter the first one it says is this week we are celebrating amazing DSPs all around the nation they are the heart and the soul of everything we do to help people with disabilities feel and be included in the community and it has hashtag DSP RW 2021 that's for Twitter now they have four samples okay I also like when they said in the last one is that it was recognizing excellence. Okay, so for Facebook, they give you this sample one. We are so proud of our direct support professionals. And then they give like a little blank where you, if you wanted to say someone's name in particular. This week, September 12th through the 18th, we are celebrating them, their hearts, and the work they do to support people with disability. Thank you, DSPs. share some of their content on their website in regards to this particular um, recognition week. It says direct support professional recognition week September 12th through the 18th 2021 is a great opportunity to highlight the dedicated innovative direct support workforce that is the heart and soul of supports for people with disabilities. We hope that you will use this opportunity to highlight the important work of direct support professionals nationwide, but especially those in your life, whether they work for your agency, support you, or a loved one, or simply work to make a difference in your community. Your celebrations of the DSPs at the heart of our field are part of a nationwide party We throw each year, I didn't know that, to showcase the amazing and often unsung work of these incredible professionals and mark just a small fraction of the recognition that they deserve throughout the year. To support your efforts to acknowledge DSPs, we have compiled a few resources to help you say thanks and raise awareness about the role DSPs play in helping people with disabilities be a part of the community. These resources include access to the high resolution version of the DSP Recognition Week 2021 logo for you to use in or on any materials you see fit. Uh, They're customized for social media posts to spread the word and our DSP Recognition Week store. So I guess they have a store and we can't wait to celebrate your DSPs with you. And then they go a little bit further into the logo and I actually looked at it and it's really nice. It looks like the colors are yellow 
and like um, a, a navy blue and it's shaped in a heart. They also had like a ribbon like you would see for any other um, cause for awareness and it's the same colors, yellow and like a, like a mustard colored yellow and um, blue, very nice. And then they go on to show <clears throat> links if you wanna check out what they call DSP proclamations for, it seems for Colorado, Florida, Indiana, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Wisconsin. Now for their particular DSP Recognition Week store, um, they said they offer opportunity to purchase deeply discounted items with the DSP Recognition Week branding so you can purchase small gifts for each of the DSPs with which you work as a token of your appreciation. In this year's store, you'll find popular favorites such as t-shirts, bags, uh, more varieties of popular items from previous years like tumblers, thermoses, and a few new items including face masks, uh, customized hand sanitizer, and a stainless steel straw uh, kit. Um, they said orders are being accepted but may incur additional shipping fees or may not arrive before the start of this particular, which is we're in the week now. And they said start shopping today. Then they go a little bit more into the social media aspect, the content. Um, I already read like a couple um, samples uh, of the social media messages to kind of give you a point of reference. Um, um, you can customize them to however you want to do it. I'd be more specific, uh, be in general. To the DSPs you want to recognize during this week in your efforts to raise awareness about this important campaign. Because honestly, as far as I know, um, a lot of people don't know what that is, uh, DSP. Um, and a lot of times when you come in contact with people who are in the community, um, you, they'll, some people will ask and it's, you know, there's no problem with that, but it's not well known of what that may even mean. Whenever talking about DSP recognition on social media, they encourage you to use what I said before, hashtag DSP RW, which is of course Recognition Week 2021. So we can follow the conversation and amplify your message. a story to tell? Do you want to connect with others? Or maybe you want to build your brand and raise your brand awareness. Words are powerful. Your voice is important. Your voice needs to be heard. Let your voice be heard. Anchor FM is the answer. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many more. You can make money from your podcast with minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get started. Then they go a little bit further. There's a portion or area here that says, Ideals for recognizing DSPs who are making a difference in your community. In the market for creative ideals for celebrating DSP Recognition Week, here are some ideals to get the creative juices flowing. And then it says, collect 30-second videos from the individuals you support, their family members, your other colleagues, and more with messages about the difference your agency's DSPs are making in the lives of the people they support. Put together a gift bag for each DSP at your agency that includes their favorite candy, a small gift card, and one or two items from the 2021 DSP Recognition Week store. Then assemble a team to do a non-contact delivery to places where your DSPs work. Um, the next one is host a virtual party 
and or happy hour for your agency's DSPs. Assemble the family members, the co-workers, and friends for a virtual chat, an opportunity to uh, for those who love them and want to tell them how they feel about them and how they value them. Also spice it up by telling funny stories of, about the DSP and or putting together a small game of trivia. And lastly, it says reach out to your mayor Oh wow, okay, and ask that they issue a proclamation, which is what basically well in our case it was the it was the governor that did it and i read that in the last one episode um declaring september the 12th 18th okay 2020 sdsp recognition and that was the first time i'd ever seen that in your town or city then ask the mayor to record a short thank you message to share with dsps who have been working to help the most vulnerable among us navigate during the covid 19 pandemic And lastly, what I want to share uh, from their website in this particular area, it says share your celebrations. Have something planned to celebrate DSP Recognition Week 2021. We want to know about it so we can amplify your celebration. Let us know what you've got in store for your DSPs this year by emailing Andre Floyd. Um, And it says, and course communications manager, at afloy at ancor.org. Well, I'm going to end this episode now. I hope that some of these ideals have sparked some kind of creativity um, for our DSPs, for in the employers, for other people who want to show appreciation to DSPs. And I just want to say that I appreciate um, the clients, the families, and the loved ones that I service and uh, my fellow DSPs keep up the good work even when it seems very challenging Um, not just DSPs also but support staff people who work with this population people who are caregivers Um, the people that are in this field they they give they don't do it for the money Um, they do it for a variety of reasons Um, everyone that I know has a very personal connection um, to this particular uh, population. Uh, myself, as I've said before, I have two brothers, adult brothers, um, who are part of this population. Um, so everybody, when you really think about it, and I'm thinking about doing an episode about and going back and touching on it. I did do an episode on it about what does it mean? What is disability? Because a lot of times um, you have different types of disabilities. And I think I did do an episode about this. And it's a such one, a certain category, it is called invisible. Okay. You can look at someone and you wouldn't categorize them as disabled or challenged. But you really don't know. And there's a, there are so many famous celebrities um, and, and just regular people, you know, that you know who have different invisible, as they call it, disabilities, okay? So we're all, even though we seem different and we are individuals, we all share the same struggle, okay? And the only way that we're going to make it is if we help one another. And I think, and no, I know that that's one of the many reasons of why the things are happening in this world right now is the disconnect. We are all connected, okay? That's just... The beginning and the end of that. And once you reconnect and see that connection, I think a lot of things will start to go in a different direction. 